you like about what you're doing? Um, I, mean, I think when you talk about vibes, there's a lot of positive energy. Um, you know, through the whole program right now, um, you know, winning these four games after you know losing a tough one to VCU. Um, I thought we've done a good job of bouncing back. I think we're ready for this tournament. We've, you know, we're kind of having the same mentality, um, not as much, but a similar mentality to the, you know, going from non-conference to conference. This is a whole new season. We got to win three games in three days, and and uh, we know we're capable of doing it. So I think that everybody's just really excited to get down there and get playing. How does, how does this group respond when there's no margin for error? This is your last goal, like you said. It's kind of three and zero. Oh. Yeah, um, I mean, I guess we'll see. I think that uh, when our back's been put against the wall a lot this season, whether it's teams coming back when we're up, whether you know it's us fighting back from deficit, I thought we've shown a lot of heart. And um, I, you can't teach that. So I think that um, you know, with the kind of personality that this team has, I'm not worried about whether we're going to come out lax today's goal, whether we're going to come out you know slow, soft. I think we're going to be ready to go. What are you going to tell the young guys about the best way to manage themselves? If you get three games to kind of be ready each day. Yeah, I mean, the first one is going to be we're going to be rested. Uh, they're going to be playing for a day. And my message to them is going to be, you know, just treat it like any other game. Let's, don't try to make it a bigger stage than it is. I mean, it is the A-10 tournament, but try to treat it like it's a regular game. Stay in that kind of mindset. Um, and then, you know, the second game, you know, we'll be, you know, coming off of games here a little banged up. But this, it's a rivalry. I mean, you know, if we do play VCU, it's a rivalry game. And uh, there's no extra motivation needed there. And then, you know, day three with that, it's just, I feel like it's going to be straight adrenaline in that championship game. Whatever team makes it there, you know, you're, you're used to having two, three days in between to rest. Now you're playing two games in two days with a third on that Sunday. So I think it's all that third one's going to come down to adrenaline, but it's just how we approach each game and just taking it, you know, play by play. How important would winning three games be to you specifically as a guy who's never played in the NCAA tournament to get on to get yourself on that stage? No, oh, it would mean the world to me. That's uh, That's been my dream ever since I've come to college, um, especially this whole year. I've really tried to, you know, think about that. That's the goal for all of us, and, and we've always been talking about it. So that, that would mean the world to me. And kind of, you know, senior season um, put together a run like this. It's what we want to do, and I think we can do it. Not only that, eight ten player of the year, incredible achievement. You got two doubles in that. When you look back in your career, I know you got basketball to play, but what is, what can you just be proud of on top of the accolades? Um. You know, it is it is a great accomplishment, and I'm I'm so honored to be the A10 Player of the Year. Uh, there's been so many you know, great names before me that have been um, who have been given this award. So it's just an honor. But I think uh, you know my career here will be decided whether we go to the NCAA tournament or not. So it's to be determined, and uh, that's that's the standard I hold myself to. That's the standard I hold the team to. So if we don't make it, it's I don't want to say it's a failed season, but it's it's might as well be. Isn't that putting a lot of pressure on yourself? Yeah, but I mean. That's that's how it is. I'm a senior. I just got player of the year here. Like that's that's the pressure. That's the responsibility you get. You know what I mean? That's uh, that's what you have to do when you're in our position. And uh, we didn't handle business in the non-conference, so we don't get the luxury of if we lose a game, saying, "Oh well, hopefully we get in an at-large." Um, that's our fault. So now I don't think it's too much pressure. I think it's it's manning up and just doing what we need to do. Obviously, you want to win, but how much does the season from here on out, knowing that every game could be your last game or every you know. How much does that give you an opportunity to showcase what you can do for the next level as well? Yeah, I mean, scouts have, have seen you know who they're going to look at and stuff like that. Um, you know, this is just another just another game. I'm really not trying to think of it as too much. I think of it's just another game to help my team advance to our goal. And um, I mean, sure, if there's scouts there, that'll be cool to kind of if them see me play well and, and us win, that'd be cool. But at the end of the day, that stuff will handle itself later. And right now, we're focused on the win. Talk about as the two leaders of this team getting ready for this A-10 tournament. Um, we just talk about keeping everybody poised, everybody focused. Um, you know, we know we have a lot of young guys. Me and him are really the only uh, you know upperclassmen um, playing. So we just talk about how we need to set the tone early and be leaders. Some of these guys, you know, might be, I haven't seen it from Buck or Nick yet, but, you know, they, they're freshmen at the same time. They could be nervous going into this ch tournament. You know, we just try to keep them calm. You know, Nick keeps shooting the ball, keep doing his thing. And, you know, a little extra added motivation for Chandra is that he was third team. I mean, that's a big honor for him, but I, I know he's not satisfied with that. So I think that you'll see, you know, a little edge to Chandra Jones this weekend. You mentioned Buck. He's kind of become the underclass vocal leader. How has that helped in the leadership you to that he's able to kind of provide the message you're doing? Oh, it's huge. Um, you know, 
whole season it's been you know different who's going to step up kind of as our third guy and uh, you know for Buck to kind of you know and Quan as well but for for Buck to take this leap and to win this this award that's you know such an honor for him it's uh, it, it's it's huge for us to have a guy like that that can um, you know be a leader and be so vocal at such a young age uh, he's really talented and he's it just shows a lot of his character so I think if he just continues that he's going to have a, a tremendous career. TJ, I know. Sorry. I know you're in the thick of it right now, but I mean, do you just look back at all? I mean, Texas kid, you're only off with from Niagara. Fast forward three or four years, and here you are, Atlantic 10 Player of the Year. I mean, do you allow yourself to kind of realize what you've accomplished, kind of the journey you've been on here? Um, you know, I didn't really think about it too much, and then my dad called me last night. We just talked for a quick minute, and just like, how crazy it was that I was on JV as a junior and now, you know, no one would ever thought this, including myself. So it's been, you know, I've just been blessed with the people in my life, Coach Mahalik at Niagara and Coach Mooney here and all my teammates. But because you don't do this on your own, it's a, it's a team thing. And honestly, I don't, probably don't do it without this system. You know what I mean? It fits perfectly to what I do, my strengths. And, um, you know, I just can't, can't thank, you know, those coaches enough for giving me the opportunity.